Hey there, YouTube. What is up? So today, I am going to talk about, in Phantom Chasers, about grinding and where uh, you should grind in order to uh, get um, monster power-ups. So currently, so like in another video, I had made mention that I was going to start grinding, or I had been grinding... Uh, over here on floor 410 because I was trying to get um, uh, skill ups or power ups for my death knight so I was trying to get death knight so this floor drops has a chance to drop death knight and memory of death knight um, and I was grinding on hard and I had a comment from somebody asking, hey, uh, grinding on hard or there uh, costs 38 stamina. So how come you don't just go and farm on normal? Because on normal, it costs 18 stamina. And he goes, well, or is it that because you're grinding on hard, you have a chance to, for it to drop a five star? And I thought, you know what? I don't know. Um, I had been grinding a little bit, and I was like, yeah, I hadn't really seen much. I think I had gotten like one or two death knights so far, and they're both four stars. And I was like, you know, I don't know. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go grind this floor 100 times on hard and then I'm gonna go grind it again 100 times on normal and see what kind of results I get so also just so you know it gives you a crap ton of the ash spirit and a crap ton of the Nikuhin and then uh, some dimensional crystals and then, um, depending on whether you're farming normal or hard, if you farm normal, you get a chance to get some memory of zombies. And if you farm on hard, you also have a chance to get some memory of, it's Frankenstein. Yeah, memory of Frankenstein. Um, so, that's another thing too. And definitely... Right off the bat, you get more dimensional crystals more often on hard, and you get a lot more ash spirits and a lot more of these Niku hints or whatever on hard than you do on normal. Um, not that that's a real big deal, because uh, they're pretty much garbage. Um, they're not really worth much at all. They're one-star monsters. You can use them as skill-ups. Or level ups for your other monsters. Uh, but the main thing I was going for was Death Knights. So after 100 runs on normal. I got 3 Death Knights and 3 Memory of Death Knights. Okay. Excuse me. Was it? Did I, did I just say it was on normal? I'm sorry. That was 100 runs on hard. Okay. It costs... 3,800 stamina on hard farming floor 410 I got three death knights and three memory of death knights four star all four star okay so I summoned the three death knights I had six total that is enough to make one five star death knight all right so the the I got two at level 40 uh, Death Knights, one at level 20, and then three memories of Death Knights. After 100 runs, that was enough to make through leveling up and then transcending and leveling, transcending and transcending. That was enough to combine to make one five star. So I basically was able to bump my level, my level 100 five star Death Knight up. To level 140 after doing 100 runs on hard mode okay so then I did 100 runs 
on normal mode, okay? And normal mode is cheaper, uh, stamina-wise. Okay, so on, on normal mode, it only costs 18, so instead of 3,800, uh, I spent 1,800. So it's 2,000 mana cheaper to do 100 runs. Which sounds good, except the problem is, is after 100 runs, I had a big, fat, zero Death Knights. I got none. Okay, so that tells me the drop rate on this game is crap! I'm serious, like what the hell? None out of a hundred runs I got zero? What the hell? Okay, granted, that was on normal. I get that. It should be a little bit more difficult on normal, but I got six on hard and none on normal. Holy crap, guys. And that's just to get four stars. Don't you think maybe those drop weights rates are just a little bit high or low? I mean, I mean, like, come on. Like, don't even tell me I can get him here on normal because you can't. I did a hundred runs. I got zero. I didn't even get one memory. I got none. Not a freaking one. That's ridiculous. Don't farm a normal at all unless they change this because it's worth it's a waste of your time okay just don't do it farm on hard always okay oh and another thing yesterday farming here on this mission trying to get a uh, heavy stash or recovered stash or any stash at all so that I could get treasure I was farming here on the hardest floor I spent 1200 stamina because it costs 200 per run which means I spent like uh, like five star stones or something on refreshes and got one heavy stash and one recovered stash. You guys, seriously, the drop rates on this game are freaking broken. It's ridiculous. I mean, this level's not hard, but 200 stamina for one run? And it's got like a like a half a percent drop rate, it feels like. It's just ridiculous how low the drop rate is. Oh, they added this. I haven't even done this yet. I might as well do it. Case closed. Gotta go fight me some level one monsters. It's gonna be rough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle this. It's gonna be rough. Waiting for this load screen to go. But seriously, the drop rates are garbage. I mean, let's see. If I move my Death Knight after 100 runs on hard, from level 100 to level 140, and then I see 180, 200, 20, 260, 300, 340, 380, 420. So it ain't. I gotta do 900 more runs in order to, on average, get enough. Sorry. In order to, on average, get enough enough Death Knights to get him level up. 900 runs. Are you freaking serious? Good lord, that's a lot of grinding. Like, ridiculous amounts of grinding. Did that battle... <laughs> Did we win that battle and I wasn't even paying attention? <laughs> I 
I was like totally not paying attention at all. Yep. That mission was fun. So glad they made me do that. Well, I guess I'll take the stuff or whatever. Yeah, they don't even drop anything. I mean, drop rates in this game are just straight up broken, though. It's ridiculous. Might as well go do this to see what I get, huh? What did I do? What did, I, did I click on the wrong thing? I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Yep, I did. I did click here. Oh, real quick while we're waiting for that to open. I want to go show you something real quick. So I saw, because uh, I was trying to figure out, like, what the hell do I do with these things? This recovered stash in your inventory? Because once you get those, there's, like, nothing you can do with them. So what it is, is they, when you get one of those, they automatically send the the chest to your mailbox and you have to go to your mailbox and pick it up and then after you pick it up you gotta go to the artifact chest box thing and open the artifact chest but it leaves this crap in your inventory and basically if you go to the the uh, Facebook page they have a post that tells you uh, you can't really do anything with these. You just have to sell them. That's about it. Hey, yeah, got another artifact enhancement stone. Should I do some gear managing? I am really confused, by the way, because I had, like, I don't know what's going on here. I had a full set. Somebody had a set on them, and now nobody has a set on them. It's really weird. Like, one of my... Like, a, he had a set. I swear he had a set. He had a goblin sword and a goblin thing, and, like, it just disappeared on me. I don't know. I understand what the hell. How... Wh why did my weapon disappear? It's confusing. Enhanced choice weapon, I guess. Those enhancement stones could be a little bit more useful too, that would be nice, because they don't go very far. Okay, so anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about for right now, is I wanted to go off about how god-awful the drop rates are in this game. So basically what I recommend when it's time to farm for somebody is... Um, Plan on spending about four days grinding in the same place in order to get enough. And do it on hard, don't do it on normal. And that way you will have enough. If you don't die of old age first. Okay?
You guys have a good one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. You guys take it easy.